How's it going everyone? Today's topic will be the Bay of Drowned Wishes Master Law Sector. We are dealing with Overload Champions and Unstoppable Champions. We'll be doing this as an Arc Warlock. We'll be focusing on uh, this week's, this or this Law Sector time uh, on the Malfeasance. With the Hand Cannon here, this thing is doing insane amount of damage with Intrinsic Unstoppable. And then with the uh, Catalyst here, it's definitely a nice bonus to do extra damage to bosses. Or any Taken that you would have. So definitely recommend this pick. Uh, it's doing really well. Um, I would recommend pairing with the Trace Rifle, or if you want it, you can run a Scout Rifle. If you are running a Scout Rifle, I would recommend only run one primary weapon. So switch this to um, whether you can you can always switch it to like a Bastion or something if you want to take out Unstoppable. So if you wanted to do something like this, Bastion, and then run a Scout Rifle. Um, I don't know if I have a Scout Rifle readily available to so just pop in like the the other one was so quick. Uh, but yeah, you can always run a Scout Rifle. In here, if you want to run a primary, or you can always run a Bastion up here instead of Malfeasance, if you all up to your preference. Um, some people can run, also, you can run a Glaive if you wanted, uh, which will take care of your um, Unstoppables for you. Um, but I would recommend, if you can, Malfeasance and Path of Res Least of Resistance are a pretty good combination here with a Trace Rifle. If you have any other Trace Rifle, like Redacted Path, you can also. Whatever one you're using um, as your primary taking care of adds uh, duty besides your... Um, kit from your abilities then make sure your siphon matches it uh your heavy can be anything you want i like a rocket launcher uh for this run just so it helps with uh, unstoppables you stun them with the malfeasance do a little bit of damage with the poison and then switch to hothead do like one or two shots and then the unstoppable falls over from a long distance it's a really nice set you really won't really need anything for ad clear as your kit will take care of most of it as uh where is a chaos reach for boss damage or if you have a running double asterisk asset you can probably use it more often um, healing Rift to keep us alive, and then Chain Landing will do our arc for stunning if um, it help with the Trace Rifle. Our Pulse Grenade will do a, most of the clears because we'll have it up all the time, pairing up with our Fallen Sunstar. So we have Magnitude, Sarker Shock, which will do um, Jolts. Spark Resistance will help 25% damage reduction. And then your Spark Ions gives you that ability cooldown going back with your um, Helmet Fall of Sunstar. Fallen Sunstar, sorry. Uh, electrostatic mine here will help you with uh, jolts and blinds uh, the jolts are gonna be happening all the time with everything we got so this is gonna be proccing a lot and then we have our arc souls to do all of our um screebs and red bars and everything come up in this thing that you're dealing with like things just randomly blowing up arc souls will take care of them for you as long as you're sitting in your healing rift they can't you won't really die anything so um definitely recommend uh running that Oh, you will recommend also running high resilience and high discipline so you can have your abilities up all the time and take less damage. Definitely nice to survive better. Uh, talking about survivability, um, definitely recommend, like, one of my favorite things this time is to run harmonic and arc resistance here for the unstoppable damage and boss damage. And then sniper damage resist. It helps a lot with the unstoppables as they shoot really far away. Um, and then there's a sniper person also, so definitely recommend the sniper damage resist. This will help you keep distance from afar, and then when you get close, um, you can use your grenade uh, kickstart here to do all the damage with your grenades and such. That if you need to, for say your arc souls, there's so many of them, your arc souls can't handle it. Then just use your grenades. Your grenade kickstarts will kick everything back up. With all the ionic traces going on, you will have a ton of uptime with your grenade, which is a ton of pulsing damage. I am running a kinetic siphon as I am using the malfeasance, and I want that to use do most of my. Um, damage for most uh, killing everything for me so the connect siphon is definitely a bonus uh to run the connect siphon you're gonna have to actually if you're running two ashes assets or two special ammo finders you are gonna have to reduce your uh, stat down uh, but as long as you it's a secondary stat where it's not gonna hurt you too bad, too bad um then or e even i would still recommend it anyways if you're running malfeasance to do most of your damage it's kind of siphon um is pretty nice if not you can always run um void arc whatever one your weapon is that's going to be doing the most amount of uh, damage for you so everything else is kind of what we standardly use. Reaper, power, powerful tractor, and bomber. This is kind of the, the best standard, I would say, for all the classes. Definitely put these on for all of them. And then as an arc uh, warlock, you want elemental charge, as the ionic traces are everywhere. So this thing, with all the procs, it'll, it'll just pair with grenade, uh, grenade kickstarts so nicely. It's just insane. So Fallen Sunstar, exotic armor, and then Malfeasance exotic weapon piece. This should be, should be a very clean run. Uh, so we should be able to just knock this out real nicely. And let's just see what we got here. I appreciate all the support. Like and subscribe. You guys are doing amazing. Uh, keep it up. Comment below with any suggestions you recommend. As, as I said before, I do have other builds on my channel uh, of this uh, Lost Sector. So definitely check them out.
Okay, here we go. We're gonna grenade right away. Load in that bullet as we want to aim down and get that unstoppable shot going. Not worried about all the other mobs because we have our a grenade ready to go. We're gonna grenade. We're in our healing circle. You can't do nothing to us. Throw our unstoppable one shot there. Should be plenty. Mark Souls take care of all those stuff for us. Don't even worry about it. One sh Oh, I, I messed it up. I messed it up. I'm not gonna waste it now though. I'm gonna use this. Load in the bullet. Get a few shots in. Get a rocket going. Move on to the next one. How's it going, Mr. Unstoppable? You get a grenade and you get a rocket. And then I'm gonna make sure I hide from the Unstoppable. Don't wanna take anything he has to face. Last rocket. No, I didn't shoot it fast enough. Make sure you get it timed up, and then he should fall over. Load an unstoppable bullet in, and boom. Easy. Get a Mark Souls. Do it. Okay, we're going to run all the way through here. We don't want to deal with anything here. Just want to grenade the overload, and then blow him up with damage. Finisher. We're good. Now we just gotta deal with these bombs. Having ceiling circle four. Grenade far away. Load up your bullet and then just take out the unstoppable with the rockets all you want. If you load it correctly and like I didn't do. You can always sit in your healing circle or you can run away from them. They really once you get close they'll blow up. One rocket, two rocket. Do the damage, do the damage. Perfect, now we can move on. One bomb, two bomb. Right, reload. If you're a grenade, if you don't have a grenade up, pop your healing circle, it'll bring it back up. There we are, we're just doing all this free damage here. We're gonna go and run down here and use the finisher. Arc Soul will take care of everything else for us. Thank you. Grenade up top of the overload. Arc Soul will take care of everything else around us. We're not worried about it. We're gonna grenade. And where are you at? There you are. I'm gonna make sure I put my healing circle out here early, because once I do the finisher, all hell's gonna break loose. There we are. Do some damage to the boss here until I'm ready to ult them. Perfect. Now we can super, super, super kill everything else down here. Pop your healing rift, whatever you want. Everything's dead. Collect your loot. Enjoy your exotic. I didn't get the luck for it this time, but it's okay. Three minute run there. You can do it faster than me. Just zoom right through it. Um, there are other, I do have a whole bunch of other build options on my channel. So make sure to check that out for the Bay of Drowned Wishes. I do have other class videos also. So make sure to check them out. Like and subscribe. Appreciate the support. Comment below if you want to see a certain uh, exotic weapon used or build or whatever, let me know. Um, as, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.